Well, I'm still with uh, over here with my friend Kevin, who's been a home inspector and a builder for decades, and we were going through tools and looking through and looking through stuff. He's kind of helping me think through the renovation there at um, at Rock Run House. But uh, as we we're talking here this evening, he reminded me he had some really unique tools that go back to World War II, really. So what is this? What is this book you got here? So these are letters home from my great grandfather Howard Craig Williams Sr. Okay. Uh, this was my grandfather's dad, and these are letters that he sent home to his dad from World War II. He was in the U.S. Army Air Corps, yeah. which is the precursor yeah. of the United States Air Force, and he did a lot of training for the 101st and the paratroopers that jumped. Uh, but here's pictures oh. from his days in the military. The here's US letters. Air Corps. Yep. Yeah. Letters home, and notice here that all of these these early letters are written on legal papers. And as he yeah. goes through in rank, as we get to the later ones, they will be on officer stationary. Oh, as so, he as he works his way yeah, up. As he the works ranks. his way up through the okay. ranks. So we see here, beautiful. Here's telegrams. All right, so regular letters, and yeah. then we've got telegrams. And we got telegrams here. Yeah. He sent home. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Some interesting things. Birthday greetings, Dad. Is just to wish you health and happiness, my love to you and mother, Craig Williams. Australia. Yep. And that's 1942, July 14th. Yep. 1942. Airmail, letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, these are interesting right. here. If you've what never, yeah. if you've never heard of a V-mail, they would write letters on a page about this size. Okay, like a regular. Yep, size like a regular page. size page, and then they would photograph it and they would shrink it into this tiny little. And I'm not even sure what you call it, but it was called a V-mail, and they stick it in this tiny little envelope, and it was cheaper and faster to send home. No um, so a lot of the letters came through as a V-mail, uh -huh. so these are actual original V-mails. By, def by defense savings. Oh, yeah. savings bond. By defense savings bonds. So I think when you buy yeah, bonds, yeah, yeah. when you would buy bonds, it would pay for stuff like this. Yeah, that's right. It's raising uh, money for the world. Here's, here's stamps from Australia. Okay, so just a collection of so this one, this letter is titled "Somewhere in New Guinea," November fourth oh of nineteen forty-two. Yeah, those uh, cannibals out there, yeah. aren't they? Yes, at that time, I think there were. Is that going to get you likes? <laughs> no. Uh, here's a uh, here's other stamps that came through. Um, Whoa, what's this crew? So this, my grandmother is in there. My great grandmother is in there somewhere, but that was the patrol. That was the women. If there was a brush fire. That was the crew that would get together oh, yeah. and, and do and respond oh, to that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's Look all in that. there. Okay, there's more airmail here. So as you as you go through here, as as the effort intensifies, you see more things like this opened by U.S. censor. They would oh, read his yeah, mail to that. make sure that he's not uh, right. divulging secrets. Right. But they told you they did it. Correct. Like it was, Correct. Yeah. So here we get uh, stationary changes to offer officer candidate school. Um, mm -hmm. He gets his own stationery there. Oh, yeah. And he continues to send letters home to his father. There he is in September of 43, looking tough with his Thompson. That's a Tommy gun without oh, a drum yeah. barrel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A straight barrel. And this is his, I didn't get that, um, that letterhead. Yep, Captain Howard Craig Williams. Officer's Candidate School. Somewhere in Australia. Yeah. Oh, oh. We keep going through. Here he is. He, this was a friend that he went to college with in the 20s. They were out in New Guinea and they just met each other. <laughs> in the middle shocking. of nowhere. Yeah, Absolutely and it made shocking. the local it made the local yeah, paper. Yeah. So I don't I this don't know if these are chronological or at all, but here's yeah. here's an invitation to his to his graduation. I think when he was when he was pinned. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Yeah. That looks like World War One era. It does. Fully it honored. does. Now here he is, Captain Williams, back in San Francisco, probably on his way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and that year is forty-three, nineteen forty-three. Okay. This is an amazing collection. I don't think yep. I've seen one of these laid out like Western this. Western Union Telegraph receipt. Fifty dollars. Email letters. And then as we get to the back here, there's uh, newspaper articles about friends of his and people that he knew. Okay. Um, cool. Officers Club, this is a new stationery now, so he's an officer at this point. Officers that. Club and Mess, they did a lot of training down in Florida. And this is a map that he drew to, for his father to come and visit him. 
and how to find him <laughs> on the base. Okay. Blood donor card. <laughs> Good grandmother at home giving giving blood for the troops. Oh yeah. Uh, these are all places that he had been as he trained. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of stops. Yeah. A lot of different places to go. Lots of different letters here. Just all the writing. This yeah. is amazing. Back here, amazing, amazing. It was a visitor's pass to when his father came. Buckingham Army Airfield. Looks like a match, a matchbook. Yeah. And then here you and go. had he gone? He looked like he was older when he went into. He he was training. yes. So uh, it wasn't like right out of high United school. States Army Air Forces. There's his his diploma. Wow. And then here. Buckingham Army Airfield, Fort Myers, Florida. And there's the, it's hmm. kind of like a yearbook of all that stuff. Right. So this right. is all, this is all just basic information about him. And then over here. What's this? Is his Model oh. 1911 service. All right, this pistol. is what I wanted to see. Yeah. So this is his Model 1911 service pistol from World War II. And what does it say on the side? Do we have... Serial numbers, dates, something like that. On the other side there is, yeah. Patent, so this is patent here. And what else? Springfield Armory, that was the right, official supplier of the US military, I believe. United States property, serial number 722915, 1911A1 US Army. And this is the one that he carried through the specific. I asked my grandfather how he came home with this Right, he and, shouldn't have right, come home with it, right? He shouldn't have had it. There's there's some debate about officers being able to keep their sidearms, okay. but there's also plenty of these listed in official military records as lost in combat. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. yes. Is this a little ring for a, uh, yeah, maybe a little for, tether? Or yeah, maybe for a tether or a lanyard, I don't know. Lanyard to put on it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks like it barely has bluing on it. You know, like the metal almost looks raw. It's really brown and much more... I don't know. Yeah. Like the metal is even lighter. Wow, it's a beautiful pistol. Can I hold it? Yeah, it feels great. Feels I keep this great. in my desk drawer, and sometimes yeah. I hold it while I'm on Teams calls, you know, <laughs> below my waist, and I just know I'm going to wave it around in the middle of the meeting. <laughs> At another point. Yeah, right. <laughs> Suddenly your career takes a turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, I appreciate you getting that out and showing us, but not just showing the gun, but also showing sort of the provenance of the gun, you know, the man yeah. uh, who carried it, where it came from. Do you shoot it? Does it? Um, I actually have a kit that removes this slide. Yeah. And you can chamber it for a twenty-two, And okay. I, sh I shoot it shoot with that. a twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. But I I probably need to go ahead and, yeah. Let's <laughs> and just do it. Let's do and it. And let Montgomery shoot it too. Oh, yeah. Well, Kevin, that's not exactly the tool we were looking for here, you know, and talking about rehabs, but this is a beauty and I didn't think I'd get a chance to see that, you know, didn't know when I'd get a chance to see it again. And it's great to share it uh, with our viewers too. Well, thanks for doing that. It's a good little, it's a little off of the July 4th, but not too much. Today's what, July 7th? Close, yes. Yeah, so perfect, perfect. All right, thank you.